Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack. Welcome back to the Daily Challenge, Super Mario Bros. 35. This is part number four, it is January 4th, a little bit of a late one today. Probably won't be seeing this until just before the end of the night. What are our daily challenges today? Clear two courses in a single battle, I think we can do that. Target and send enemies to lowest time 30 times, why not? And defeat 200 enemies. You know, we could possibly do all this in one go. So, these are very doable daily challenges today. Alright, well we're going to be trying that. So the next special battle, because it's not the weekend anymore, is coming up on the 8th, which I think is Friday. Um, yeah, that's Eastern time. Don't know what it is, we'll have to see when, when it's getting closer, what it's going to be about. Today, so yesterday we had a bit of a insane game where I... 1v1 somebody for the entirety of it, and I didn't really talk about much of anything. I wanted to try and explain the warp zone. I feel like I did a little bit, but it wasn't well enough, so we're going to try to do the warp zone again. Um, but today, just because I thought it'd be fun, I kind of forgot about this. We're going to play as Luigi. And you can do this by holding L before you start, so I'm holding L right now. L also rotates the power-ups on the side, same with the X button, so that's why I'm going all the way down to the star, and then pressing L so I start a small Mario. Um, but yeah, we'll choose one, two. Bit lame, but we'll choose one, two as our level. Probably won't see it, but uh, no reason not to put it in the rotation. I think I can stop holding the L button now, and, I, and I'm fine. I think you just have to hold it for the duration of uh, selecting the level. So... Um, I think you have to be at least level 100 or basically one star uh, to choose Luigi. That's what I remember reading. I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, uh, there we are. There's there's Luigi. Uh, he plays exactly the same, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he jumps higher or anything like that. It's just a cosmetic change. Maybe he does jump higher. I don't think he does, though. And if he does, well... Then I'm crazy. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Uh, so just a little bit of a fun change. So hopefully we have 1-2 next and nothing crazy this time, like another 6-3. And then I can actually go into the warp zone and tell you what it's all about. So yeah, we're going to keep targeting lowest time here. I, that one player's just standing there, I'm not sure why. Bit weird. Looks like the next level is... What is this? 4-4? Four, four? That's a bit weird. Okay, so 4-4. Four, four. This is a maze level where you have to go in a specific order. We're going to see a lot of deaths. This is going to be just like yesterday's game. So, uh, you have to go in the top route and then the bottom route. So that's that's the oh, that's really the only thing you really need to know about 4-4. Four, four. Uh, there's three maze castles in the game. You got 4-4, four, four, you got 7-4, and you got 8-4. 8-4 uh, being the last one. I guess I could have just jumped over, right? No, I didn't. All right, here we go. We got one, two. But yeah, the maze castles, they suck. They're just, they just eat up your time. They're not good. Get out of those as soon as you can. Um, although 8-4, you know, when we get that in the rotation, I'll explain some 8-4 strategy. Uh, there's some pretty garbage stuff you can do there. Um, but we'll, we'll go over it, of course. Uh, not that I encourage it or anything, but there's definitely some strategy you can do in 8-4. I guess if I want to explain the warp zone a bit, we should probably uh, focus a little bit on uh, getting some timer, right? Probably. Alright, so what I tried to mention last time. Uh, the warp zones can send you to four different levels. Um, the first level through its regular exit, or exit one, I guess we can call it. That would be an easy way to refer to it as. So, the regular exit through that pipe there, that's exit one. And then, up here on the warp zone, we got exits two, which is right here. We got exit three here, and we got exit four here. So if I choose this, exit two, then we're gonna be getting these next levels after that, which kinda suck, but uh, because, we're <laughs> because we're getting one, two, I can skip right by them. Um, but because I'm choosing one, two again, so, so now those next two levels in the rotation, uh, that 3-4 that we saw there, that was our exit 3. That's now our new exit 1. Uh, are, you, are you still paying attention? Um, and then that 1-4 we saw, which was our exit 4 in the last one, um, that'll be our new exit 2. 
Um, which will be a lot more easier to explain once I actually get there. Have we killed enough enemies on this lowest time yet? Probably, right? I can probably move this to attackers. Nobody's really after me. One player is after me right now. I really need some more time here. <laughs> I was trying to hop on everybody. Uh, I guess that did not work. I'm, yeah, I'm not doing really that great right now. I have, like, no time. I guess I should move on here. Whatever. Let's say we've we probably have enough for the daily challenge there. Alright, I'm gonna skip by that fire flower there. So yeah, that pipe now will be exit. That'll lead us to level 3-4. And like I said, now we got 1-4 right here. And we'll go 1-2 again because we really need some time. We're not doing really too hot right now. We have a very low amount of time. So I need to start doing some timer building strategies. So we can talk about this a little bit. I do want to do a video on the timer. Um, kind of explaining a little more how to build it up easier. I find in the early game, you don't have to focus on it too much, but when we're only down to six players, I might need to focus on it a little more, so... We're definitely gonna get that Bowser. But, killing uh, enemies, like, in a row like this with the Starman, you're gonna build up timer real fast here. It, it starts kind of building up a chain. Uh, the... I didn't get Fire Flower. Why didn't I do that? That was a bit dumb. I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you guys that we're Luigi still. Because it's, <laughs> it's pretty lame, but when you're Fire... <laughs> Fireball Luigi, you just look like regular Mario, which I gotta be honest, is pretty lame. But... Alright, you know what? We're gonna go 5-1, because this is a decent timer building level. 2-1's good too, but 5-1 has these shells at the beginning, and it also has a Starman. So yeah. Kicking shells is a great way to build timer. I'm gonna have to spend a roulette here because there's a Bowser there and I have no power up. Isn't there a Piranha there? Maybe I took him out. Okay, well we got a star, man. Alright, well we're not doing too hot right now. I might have to spend some more money on uh, a power up or, or two. This might, this might be our first loss. I can, I can, I can feel it, honestly. I know that sounds bad, but I can kind of feel the, the loss coming this way. But look at that. We start this level with, what, like 60 timer or something like that? We're up to 300 now. Like I said, this is a great timer building level. I, was, I mean, if enemies are coming after you, great. But just that beginning part where you kick the shell and you got the star man. Um, some great opportunities to build some time in this level. 2-1 has some decent, but 2-1 is better for coins. There's a ton of coins in 2-1 as well. 2-1's a good level. I didn't have to skip it. The reason I did is because I didn't want to play 1-3. 1-3 is just bad. Um, it's just not a good level uh, because it's a lot of pits. And uh, it's kind of just hard to... There's like no coins in it. And there's not much of a way of really getting multiple enemies in a row. Not that you can't, but it's just not a good one. So that's a, that's a good level to avoid when you can. Uh, it's also a good level to practice, though, because sometimes you get stuck with it, and that's a level where you just want to get out of there as soon as possible. So you just don't want to stay around. Okay, I'm not really paying attention to my enemies right now. What do we got going on here? We got a player in 1-4. We got somebody in 1-3, looks like. I'm in 1-4 now. Okay, so that, that player may be ahead of me or not. Alright, I'm just going to run through this hallway. You can just run through the 1-4 hallway. I mentioned this last time. I think this I think it was the last video. There's some coins there, but I'm not gonna waste my time getting them. I'm just gonna get a, get out of here. If there's no enemies coming your way from uh, your opponents, uh, you just want to get out of castles. Castles just eat up your timer. They got no coins usually to offer. Just just get out of there as soon as possible. There are very few times where you want to remain in a castle. Like I said, there is one instance, but we haven't really talked about that yet because we haven't seen that level. We will in a future. For sure we'll see that in a future video at some point. Alright, but we're down to our last five players here. So it's getting a little more uh, antsy here. We got a bullet bill. Those just randomly appear like... Like, there are some levels where they just have them spawning, and then obviously you have the Bullet Bill Blasters as well. Um, if you if you take one out and send it to another player, it's just going to randomly appear. It's a bit it's a bit weird like that, but it's just nothing more they can really do. So, and we 
got a Bowser here, so I'm gonna have to abort this uh, coin block there. I'm not really feeling getting hit. But as you see, we have a ton of a uh, ton of time. Not co well, coins were pretty fine on too, so I don't really need to focus too much on. I'm not in a rush at all now. I know we're at the end of the game, but this is definitely a time where I, I want to grind out uh, some coins. Uh, I mean, I usually <laughs> am doing that all game, but now that I have a maxed out timer, this is definitely where I want to make sure I'm trying to get every last coin I can, because when we start getting into that red time, uh, that's when you might need to start spending. And also, you know, you want to try to get a high score. If you're trying to, trying to get a high score, you need more coins. I wish there were <laughs> kind of other high scoring methods rather than just coins at track, but uh, that's all the game really has to offer. We got 7 2. Alright, we'll go into 7 2. Um, why not? It's it's just 2 2 again, but it's got more bloopers in it. Um, it's the exact same level, though. It's the other swimming level in the game, but sure, why not? We'll get some bloopers on the field. Uh, just, to, just to mess with our opponents a bit. I'm in a decent position where. Um, I want to send a lot of enemies, and I'm getting multiple targets right now, which means that I'm sending multiple stuff, so we got, you know, every time I get sent a blooper and I get sent it back, I'm sending two more, so we can just keep multiplying them. Same with Bowsers. Those, typically, it's kind of hard to get a ton of Bowsers on screen, because players will probably just avoid them, as opposed to me, where I'll, I'll go after them, I don't, I don't care. We'll get, we'll get some more Bowsers on screen, why not? Um, but, if you ever played Lost Levels, you, uh, you would think that you wouldn't be able to jump on the Goombas and Koopas underwater, uh, but you definitely can, uh, and that's actually really useful, because if you get a Goomba that spawns, or a Koopa that spawns, uh, you can get a, a decent timer build like that, so. Especially at this, this last part right here, if I can get it, there we go. Yeah, so that's a great way to max your timer right there, if you're getting targeted by a bunch of people. So. As long as you're getting targeted. If you're not being targeted, swimming levels aren't the best because there's not a whole lot to do. Uh, in, in the end game, anyway. It's not so bad in the beginning game. No, this is not... Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of things queued up for me here, so I'm gonna mash the run button here. As long as you keep running. As long as you mash it. Mashing the run buttons, you can still throw fireballs and you'll still keep your speed. As long as you keep it mashing. So. Alright, well we're kind of nearing the end of the game here. We still got five players left. Looks, looks to be all good players left in the game. So we gotta be careful here. I, I really do need to hurry up though because I'm losing time uh, pretty drastically. So it looks like we're in a pretty intense match right now, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm a big fan of this. It'll make for some great YouTube content. <laughs> but it's more fun being in a match with a bunch of players than just being one-on-one. -on -one. Although that last one was cool because it was like the whole match, but... It's not so fun when it's just you and another player. Well, okay, well maybe it can be. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It really depends. Depends how I'm feeling. But yeah, now we're just kind of stalling out a bit, trying to get some more time. I'm gonna get this Bowser down here. Take him out. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get all of our time back right now. Most of our time back. Yeah, there we go. We're back up to full. Wish I could have got that blooper, but oh well. See, if I'm seeing, if, if I'm paying a lot of attention. Like, I, I try to, but, like, if I'm paying a ton of attention, uh, if I see a player that's sending a bunch of stuff, I might not want to target them, honestly, unless I'm looking to get time. But if they're sending, like, some pretty bad stuff, like, say, some Lakitu's, which we haven't really seen yet, that hasn't been a thing that we've been able to kind of mess around with. Um, but, you know, if they're sending a bunch of, like, bloopers and fish and bullets and stuff, uh, I might want to be like, eh, I might not want to target that player, because I don't really want to get all that back. But it's, it's, uh, it depends. Sometimes, I don't mind doing that, because I'm, I'm good to, I feel like I'm good enough that I can just kind of deal with any kind of weird stuff players want to try and throw at me. I'm pretty confident in my ability to stay alive. Especially when I have this many coins, like, I'm definitely... 
like, no big deal. Like, I can definitely stay in the game more than long enough. But we're uh, really running low on time here. So, this is gonna be close. I can't believe there's still five players left. They, they're probably, you know, panicking, thro throwing off those uh, roulettes. Okay, we got a player about to lose. Oh man, I could've got a bunch of time here. We like 5-1. Five, 5-1 one. Five, one and 3-2, they all got, got the similar start with the Koopas at the beginning. Great way to keep your timer up. All right, we are down to the final three. The timer is really going right now. It's not into the, the 10 game seconds per real life one, but it's close. So we want to start taking these pipe transitions now because they're going to pause the timer for us. We got one player there that's run out of coins, which is good for us. We're going to get out of this level. Oh yeah, here we go. We're going to hyperspeed now. All right, we got to get out of here. We, we need... Oh, that's bad. That, that may have just cost us the game. All right, we got we got to start taking some damage here. We got we got to, we got to slow that timer down because, um, uh oh, because that timer is is moving. Uh oh, it's not looking too good for us right now. Okay, this is okay. I probably should have grabbed that. All right, we're gonna go down this rare pipe transition that I never take, but because it. Eats up more time, that's what we gotta do. Oh man, this, this may be our first loss, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how they're doing on time, but they're they're sweating too, they're low on time, I know they are. I know they're low on time, they have to be. So, it's not looking too good for us guys. This, oh, <laughs> we just got it. We barely, we, we pulled off, we had eight, eight seconds left there. We pulled it off with like eight and a half seconds. And look, we're level 85, eight and a half. Look at that, meant to be, meant to be. Whew! Had to start spamming the roulette at the end. But we got it. We got it. All right. Now oh, look at that. We almost had a. Actually, I guess you can never have an odd number score with with double. Look at that. We did we did all of the daily challenges today on the daily challenge. How about that? That's pretty good. Oh wow, we beat some pretty high level players here. We beat a. Uh, double prestige. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that was a pretty tough level player. We just beat there Some other players are pretty high level. Yeah, that was that was not an easy game. We didn't get any KOs, which is pretty lame But yeah, that was by no means an easy game But uh, yeah, once we start getting down into into those final seconds there like when I was saying like 85 seconds left on the game clock, that's really eight and a half real life seconds because that's going down 10, 10 of those seconds per real life. So it is, is not long at all before those are gone. So just like I said, any, any bit of timer um, manipulation you can do really helps you there. I'm gonna go into how to manage that in a different video where we're gonna talk all about the timer, uh, what you can do, you know, what specifically does what, you know, when's a good time to try and and beef up your timer and and other things like that. But yeah, we're gonna go into that more so. We didn't really talk about the warp zone a whole lot. That was more at the beginning of the video. But I feel like I explained that as, as much as I as I could. Um, the only way I could have explained that better is if we kept getting one two over and over again, but we didn't. But I'm glad I got that win. That was really close. But uh, we, we pulled it off in the end, so all right, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time for another Super Mario Bros. 35, the daily challenge. Till then, have a great day, and goodbye.